You're telling me that that kid could have any fucking nickname besides Gosha? What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. I've noticed lately that there's some new people in the comments, people that are new to the channel. I'm happy that this series is growing, but we have to go over a few things. First, if a skateboarder does a laser flip and it's under rotated and it has five Tic Tacs after it and the guy's hand touches the ground, I'm allowed to say it's sloppy, even if I don't know how to laser flip. My abilities or inabilities to do certain tricks don't affect if the person I'm reviewing did them right or wrong. I can see if a trick was done bad even if I can't do it, which is kind of confusing to a lot of people in the comments. Also, if anyone ever was doubting my credentials, in the description I will put a link to a video which I uploaded five years ago, but it was filmed 15 years ago, just in case anyone was doubting if I'm maybe a brand new beginner skater. Again, my abilities shouldn't matter, but just in case you guys were doubting, please check out that video, you fucking idiots. Moving on, this series is not about me, it's helping to critique you guys. So today we have two park videos. Let's begin with the first video. It's called Foot Odge by Jake Shannon Play. Starting off, back nose grind 180. Okay, front shove, this looks very familiar. Either, oh, hard flip. Remember last week, no one knew how to hard flip? That is how it's supposed to be done. Varial heel flip down the stairs. This looks really familiar, either I've Okay, I've definitely reviewed this guy before. I hope I didn't get my fucking things mixed up. I might have reviewed this same video before because I feel like I've already seen some repeated tricks. Now I feel like, now for the rest of this video, I'm gonna doubt myself. I'm gonna feel like I've already re reviewed this video. Okay, back grind, front 180, rolling up fakie. Fakie grind, switch front shove, nicely done. Uh, tricks are back to back to back to back. This guy's hauling ass on the nollie front lip shove. Coming backwards. It's gonna be a switchboard slide for sure. <laughs> Psychic fucking abilities. Skating in the shade right now. Quality's good. This is probably filmed with a cell phone. I've talked about it before. You can still keep the video entertaining even with a cell phone. There's no need to always overdo it. If you can't, you know, if you don't have the means to do that just yet. Noah's manual in the line. I think he came down off a of feeble push twice. Jumping in. Body jar on the win. Then they used to call that shit in X Games. Body jar. <laughs> What the fuck was that about? Crooked grind down the stairs. Another little tail stall. Okay, okay, definitely. This kid, I've definitely reviewed him before because he did the same front shove. And I think on that one, I think he clipped the stairs. We're going to have to go to instant replay at the end. And I think he clipped the stairs last time. That was fucking awesome. The front lip to shove down the little handrail here. Coming down, front shove grind. That was it. That was the video. Let's go back to instant replay here and see if we can stop on the frame where it looks like I could be wrong. We definitely got a little bit of dangle foot here, but it looks like he firecrackered the last stair, which if my memory serves right, and I do make a lot of mistakes here on Ninja Review, I filmed this shit live, so I'm allowed to make some mistakes. I'm pretty sure this kid also firecrackered this same stair set in the previous review that he sent to me. But somebody has to fucking, somebody go back check that shit because I'm, I'm fucking 98% positive. This guy sent me a video to show him cleaning up all his mistakes only to make the exact same mistake. That being said, he did a lot of things right. Not too much roll up, not too much roll away. Filming with a cell phone, but still kept it interesting. Didn't do that many Tic Tacs. Tricks are all stomped cleanly. And like right here, he's hauling ass on a lot of these tricks. So we can't complain about him going too slow. So at least on that note, he did a lot of these things great. Totally an entertaining video. And although I don't 100% remember the first video he submitted, I'm assuming this one's better because he probably wouldn't have submitted the exact same fucking footage and the exact same tricks over and over again if he was just gonna fuck up the same outside of the front shove. He included stairs, rails, manuals, lines, transition. Great fucking video in my opinion. If you guys wanna watch it on your own time without my annoying voice, a link to this video and the next video will be in the description below. But overall, my hat's off to you, Jake Shannon. This footage was a-okay, except that this footage was a-okay. 
if I accidentally missed something sloppy that he did, let me know in a comment below. Also, let me know in a comment below what you think this guy did correctly. Let's move on to our next video. It's called Coco Loco Boys, and it's made by Corey Hicks Play. This is Corey Mitch and Sammy T and Gosha. Four different skateboarders. Let's see if we can figure out which one's which. Gosha has to be the Asian kid if we find one. Front blunt down, nicely done. They're switching it up here, so there's no way I'm gonna get to know the difference between all these skaters. Backside flip, was that necessary to be its own single clip? I don't know, back lip down the rail. Front Smith, filming's great here, colors are really good. We got the transition, we got the rails, we got the pointless, maybe that was a pole jam, maybe that was some alley-oop bullshit. We got the transition, I don't see any tricks downstairs yet, but I got a feeling they're coming. Switch front heel across the pyramid there. Look at this fucking skate park. I don't play Skater XL, but that looks like it had entirely too many flat bars. Tray flip over the... That was Gosha, for sure. Hold on. Rewind. Thousand fucking dollars says that's... Wait. Look at that skate. Oh, wait, here's Gosha. <laughs> I'm fucking up the whole review. That's... You're telling me that that kid could have any fucking nickname besides Gosha? Absolutely not. Back right down, back 180. That was a really nice one. Backside flip across. See, now we got some flip tricks down. We got the front blunt shove. Look at these colors. Bright reds, bright yellows. Mixing up the footage. Back tail shove, loose trucks. We got two close toe drags there, but they were probably okay. Maybe I'm just in a good mood. We got the back 180 to grind, switch 180 out. Back Smith on the flat bar. Pointless roll away. Another potential toe drag there. You know what? They reeled me in with all these pretty good tricks, and then in the middle, they put the bullshit, which arguably is what you're supposed to do. I started watching it. I became invested. I started to really enjoy it. Then they put the sloppy bullshit in the middle, which I'm going to call it out. There's some sloppy bullshit in here, but that is the perfect place to put it. So if you want to have an action-packed montage, by the way, look at all these tricks back to back to back. Of course, when I say that, we get a pointless fucking fakie rock. Backsmith, we're getting a couple of repeated tricks, and it's not a big critique, but it looks like a lot of these skateboarders do the exact same tricks. They probably all skate together. They all learned the same tricks. That's the 900th back lip I've seen, and I can just taste another backsmith coming up and another front blunt any fucking second now. But overall, really entertaining. Brian back 180. Blunting in, I guess. Nose blunt. I don't understand. Nolly 180 switch crook. Nicely done. Another back nose blunt. See, we're getting a lot of repeated tricks on different obstacles, but I don't know if they're different skaters, which leads me to believe that they all just came up skating together. There's my psychic abilities. Knew another front blunt was coming. I do appreciate that they're adding lines in here. We're getting a little bit of everything. Switch front board down the rail. Different quality of footage here. Before that one was washed out. Now we have a real crisp one. Now we're back to washed out footage. I'm assuming from a cell phone. Here's what I mean. Look, washed out, washed out, and then it comes back super bright blues, really crisp footage. Not that that's a bad thing. You're able to work with different filmers here and there, but the quality change is noticeable. I don't think here it hurts anything. One thing that does hurt these guys is right around this middle area of the video, we got some real close potential toe drags. This one, we could probably let it go, but the issue is this. If you can fucking back 270 into a lip slide or whatever, you can probably do it twice. Right here, we both know what that is. Not super obvious, but probably also worth a redo. At this point, we're just nitpicking. If I can only find two or three toe drags in a collection of 30, 40, 50 clips, then you're not doing that much wrong. Also, I don't think there's any argument here about the entertainment factor of this video. There was trick after trick after trick, and although the style of the tricks got repetitive, we got a million backsmiths, we got a million front blunts, it still didn't really cost the video any points, right? Because I have a short attention span and I was still able to remain entertained for the entire video. One thing I think these guys definitely did right is they mixed it up really well. We got transition footage right here. We even had manuals in the middle. We went a little overboard on the flat bars, but have you guys seen these skate parks? There's nothing else to skate. That one clip in the background, there was 50 different flat bars, so you can't really blame them for only skating rails. Then again, I would have liked to see a couple of more flip tricks. I saw a backside flip in there on a fucking boring ass pyramid. Come on guys, you guys are better than that. Especially you, Gosha. I think one thing that no one's going to disagree on 
is the skill level of these skaters. They kept it entertaining, not just because it was a great video, but also because they did the right shit with their feet. Tricks mostly good, style mostly good. So again, overall, a great video. I think the second video was better than the first video, but I think that also might be part of me just doubting myself. I might have accidentally reviewed the same video twice, which I've definitely done that before in probably the first 50 episodes of this someone submitted the same video twice i don't remember exactly what happened but i think i like changed <laughs> i changed my critique from the same video like a fucking idiot you know what i make mistakes i talked about it earlier it happens sometimes you know one thing that doesn't happen sometimes is two good videos in one day so again my hats off to both people who submitted videos today great videos let me know in the comments again if i fucked something up did these guys do something sloppy that i didn't see call them out in the comments don't be calling me out until you click my link in the description ninja lifestyle dragged his manual once in 2013 prove it i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you want to be a part of ninja review it's become like a common theme now is i read the comments and i get well i don't know how to submit a video even though I've explained how to do it in every single episode. I'll just do it one more time, just for shits and giggles. If you want to be a part of Ninja Review, all you have to do is submit a video to me. How do you do that? Find me on Facebook. Type in Ninja Lifestyle. Send me a message including a YouTube link to an HD video of you skateboarding. When I say HD, I mean don't have two black bars on each side. I don't want to be viewing it like this, okay? It's 2020. No VX footage. If you like VX footage, cool. Be a weird hipster. But that doesn't make the footage any less blurry and less colorless, you fucking weirdos. Y'all want to stay back in 1962? That's fine. I'm trying to move forward. Anyways, in the Facebook message, write, this is for Ninja Review. And I'll respond within a week saying, oh, cool video. I'll add it to my list. And then you'll be a part of this series. And hopefully we can make a couple of jokes and maybe let you know what you're doing right and let you know what you're doing wrong. Things you might not have noticed. Maybe these guys are blind. Maybe they didn't know they were toe dragging. Well, that's what I'm here for. Dragging these nuts all on your face. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We upload this series every single Saturday here on Ninja Lifestyle. And we upload other videos throughout the week. So I guess I will see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.